It seems like everyone, their mother, and even their dog takes melatonin before bed. They have all these stories about how their gummies and pills help them sleep. But how much should you actually be taking? Is it safe to use melatonin every night? How does melatonin even work anyway? Let's find out. Melatonin isn't a drug you need a prescription for, at least not in the United States. While we typically think of this as a supplement, melatonin is actually a natural hormone produced by the pineal gland in your brain. From there, it absorbs into your blood and helps you fall asleep. Melatonin is a factor that is produced by a part of the brain called the pineal gland. And melatonin's role in physiology is that it helps regulate the circadian clock. Darkness tells the pineal gland to make melatonin, causing you to feel tired and ready for bed. On the other hand, light stops melatonin production and keeps you awake. That's why it's not good to look at screens and bright lights late at night. While your body produces natural melatonin to regulate your circadian rhythm, your sleep-wake cycle, Today, we're focusing on the melatonin you can buy at the pharmacy or a grocery store. It's basically the same thing, only the one you buy is made in a lab. You can get it in pill, capsule, liquid patch, and gummy form. But remember, synthetic melatonin is a dietary supplement, meaning the FDA doesn't closely regulate it. Melatonin use skyrocketed over the last 20 years. More than a quarter of adults in the US take melatonin for sleep, and almost 90% swear it helps them fall asleep faster. But what's actually going on in the body? Every cell in your body follows a 24-hour cycle called a circadian rhythm. The most well-known circadian rhythm is your body's sleep-wake cycle, which determines when you fall asleep and wake up every day. As we mentioned, when it gets dark, your brain starts making melatonin. It releases into the bloodstream, flows back into your brain, and binds with proteins that make you feel tired. It also switches off other signals that make you feel alert. Melatonin supplements can help if you have difficulty sleeping or low levels of natural melatonin. Taking them one or two hours before bed should help reinforce your circadian rhythm. They mostly benefit those with inconsistent sleep schedules like shift workers and long distance travelers. Studies found that people who take melatonin for jet lag can easily adjust to new time zones. Do you have trouble falling asleep and waking up when you need to? Are you a weekend night owl who needs to be up early Monday morning? Are you a night shift nurse who has to sleep during the day? Many studies found that melatonin supplements can help all of these situations, but researchers need additional data before saying they do help. The melatonin versus insomnia debate has some experts divided. Supplements may help those with insomnia fall asleep faster, but it's not necessarily keeping them asleep. It sounds too good to be true, right? A synthetic supplement that helps you sleep with no side effects? What's the catch? Well, the truth is, there is no catch. Adverse reactions to melatonin are pretty rare and mild at that. They include headaches, daytime sleepiness, nausea, and dizziness. But that's pretty much it. All the evidence suggests that melatonin is generally safe for short-term use up to three months. It's not that long-term use isn't safe either, we just don't have the research to back that up yet. It is safe to take regularly, and there are some studies that can say that it may have health benefits to take melatonin. The key thing is that because it is a supplement, it is not regulated by the FDA. And so when you do take a supplement, you have to make sure that the supplement is in its pure form because there are sleep aids that contain melatonin that may contain other compounds as well. Most adverse events occur with higher doses or extended release melatonin. Aside from headaches and daytime sleepiness, you might have extremely vivid dreams or nightmares. You may wake up feeling irritable and could even experience brief bouts of depression. When taken properly, which we'll dive into later on, melatonin can improve several other functions in the body. According to the current research, melatonin can support healthy bones, reduce inflammation, calm your anxiety, fight tumor development, and lower your blood pressure. So is melatonin bad for you? The research says no, but some demographics should avoid it. Pregnant or breastfeeding women will want to talk with their doctor, as we don't know how safe melatonin is in these situations. Some experts advise against melatonin when trying to become pregnant as well. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine also urges against melatonin use for people with dementia. There's also concern that melatonin can affect the onset of puberty in children. Otherwise, melatonin is considered generally safe for kids in the short term, with more research needed to understand the long-term effects. 
effects. Small studies found that melatonin can help children with epilepsy and some neurodevelopmental disorders, such as autism. Because the FDA doesn't regulate melatonin supplements, there's no consensus regarding the optimal dose. Most experts say you should avoid excessively high doses and that between 1 and 5 milligrams should work fine for kids and adults. I typically recommend patients take a small dose of melatonin 2-3 to three hours before bedtime for delayed sleep phase. Small dose being 3 milligrams, 5 milligrams, something like this. That being said, some people will have a sedative effect from even a smaller dose of melatonin. Start small and work your way up. If you're struggling with daytime sleepiness after taking melatonin, you know it's time to dial it back. Preschool-aged children or 3 to 5 years old should take between 1 and 2 milligrams. Elementary-aged kids or 6 to 12 years old can take between 2 and 3 milligrams. And ages 13 and up can take up to 5 milligrams. Older adults ages 65 and up should start small and work their way up. Melatonin levels deplete as you age, meaning you're more sensitive to it the older you get. Regarding when to take melatonin, aim for one or two hours before bed. This is when your brain starts making it naturally. The supplements need time to absorb into your blood and bind with the proteins. Taking it too late in the day can lead to daytime sleepiness. While melatonin is relatively safe for kids, don't start them on it before talking with their doctor. Children should be able to fall asleep naturally, so consider other changes to their nighttime routine and sleep hygiene. In fact, it's always a good idea to consult with your doctor before using melatonin, especially if you're on birth control, blood thinners, immunosuppressants, blood pressure medication, or any anticoagulants. Consider changing your sleep habits before using or upping your melatonin intake. Ensure you're going to bed and waking up at the same time every day. Avoid caffeine and alcohol late at night and maintain a dark and quiet bedroom for optimal relaxation. Put your screen devices away an hour before bed. We're talking cell phones, tablets, video games, TV, and laptops. They all emit blue light, the sworn enemy of natural melatonin production. Finally, a quick afternoon cat nap, no longer than 20 minutes, can help you catch up on sleep. If you have trouble falling asleep at night, melatonin supplements might be exactly what you need. Take your melatonin about an hour before bed and remember to start small while working your way up. For the best results, pair those new gummies with better sleep hygiene and talk to your kids' doctors before starting them on melatonin. And if you're looking for more tips on how to get your best night's sleep, we have a video all about that right here. Thanks for watching everyone. Sleep well.